put a little, we put a little smoke on them bees there. What I'm gonna do is I'll show you. What's done come about is I've let a day go by. So I kind of have to make up for it, hoping that it'll work. I've done already went and caulked everything, changed the war size on the vents and all. I got that domesticated earth down in Yanner. The bees are working the feeder. I'll show you something. The, the, the bees are working the sugar the sugar syrup feeder quite vigorously. It's uh, well it was more than half full yesterday early and it's well it's almost empty now so they are taking up sugar syrup. That's this hive. And this hive down here that we're working on them there two queen cells. You know, it's a little activity going on, but we'll watch that. But in the meantime, what I got to do, now listen up. You, you know, what, 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 what are you going to do? That's a question. What am I going to do? Well, I got this empty hive right here, nook, five frame nook, medium. That's that one where the bees left the other day. A solid bottom board, about three eighths thick, and a pretty, uh, good decent box. Uh, entrance blocker off the thing there. Uh, I think we're going to block it off completely in this endeavor, and a uh, uh, top cover. With the hole on the top side, the thick side, got that small size screen war in there. Uh, caulked everything except the war. And, uh, and a top to go up on it. So, you know, we done had bees in it, they just left. So, the, the, the situation is, is, here I am today, and I'm supposed to get some, maybe tomorrow or next day. I was supposed to get some, get a queen bee in a cage already uh, mated. So I'm a, I need to put her in here. So what I'm going to do with haste is get, it's a five frame. And I'm thinking I'm going to look and maybe only take three frames out of here. We'll see. Yeah, we better put a little smoke on them. Yeah, we got a lot of bottom, we got a lot of bees on the bottom of that box right there. Let's see I got them two. Uh, that's them. That's them swifter things in there. They've done draw that down, and, and right there is three hive beetles uh, captured in that swiffer cloth. Oh, there's a whole bunch on the bottom. Just get that. Get away from our bees. Oh, yeah. Uh, Swifter does work. Let's see if we've got anything on the bottom of that one over yonder. But you can see where to... Oh, yeah. See, we, we, we've caught... Uh, we, we've caught three, four hive beetles and about ten on this side. All right, down in there. I mean, this box ain't been on there but a little bit. But I got two beetle traps down in there. Well, there's a high beetle I see in that one. Uh, I'm going to get this over with really quick if I can. 
been, uh, I'm not sure. You know, move, moving these bees around ain't, uh, especially what I'm having to do here on such a quick notice, you're, you're subject to lose the queen, you know what I mean? Or to move her to that box over there and then it's another disaster. We'll put a little smoke right here to let them know we're coming. Well, you know what I ought to do is to kind of look at one of them frames right there. Let's just see what we're dealing with. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, Uh, this is not how I let it get honey bound, but you, you can see that that's a fresh frame I put in there, and they're doing already drawed that wax and got it half full of of honey. Got some nectar in there too, I believe, some different color. But well. I really think I should take them off of the bottom, but that's where that the uh, queen's going to be. You know what I mean? Not necessarily. So, you know, here I stand not knowing what to do. So, I think to be cautious, I'm just going to see about this. Actually, I need some brood. So I'm going to take this top box off. Well, these are gentlest bees. It's a blessing to have gentle bees. But just be patient with them. I sure would like to see the queen. But I think what I'm going to do... You know, what do you do? That's the question. You know, it could be a country song. What do you do when, you, when you're working with a beehive? You know, there you are. You've got to make the decision. Boy, right there's, right there's a comb. I mean, the fire, I think, is going on out there somewhere or another. But. Whoa. Okay, right there's the queen. See here? Can you can you can you all see that queen right there green? Okay, right down there is a uh right down here is a I'm gonna put her back in there. Oh she went around the side. See she's on the end right there. I'm gonna wait till she comes back. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I got the queen back in there safely. I know she's right here, so I'm going to go over here immediately. Okay, right there's right there's everything that you need. I'm pretty sure right there's everything you need. I, I, I I'm going to give this a try. It's, uh, uh, yeah. You know, it's all I know to do. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this other. I'm hoping that queen will stay down yonder. Okay, that's that's equal as good as the other one. So I'm going to put it over here in the same rotation. Right there. 
Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two empty hives in here. I have to fetch them. Okay, now now what I've got here is uh, th th these are these are some these are some combs right here that I saved out of that other hive over there, and and it's got a lot of well they're drawn real good. It's got a lot of uh, sugar in there or honey. They're working on it, so I'm just gonna drop it. I'm going to, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I I'm going to put one of these. This one right here. Uh, right here. An empty one. Okay, I'm going to bring this over here, tighten that up. Now, I'm going to put the one with the honey. Actually, I should put it over yonder to give them something to eat. That's three frames. Okay, and then and, and then I'll put I'll put the other my cat. Uh, you, you, you know I, I hope that's right. Uh, but you know with haste. And, and, and I, I will tell you now, I've done already seen more high beetles than I would like to. For real. So, it's going to be a problem for me here. But that looks good. So, I'm just going to set this right back on here. What was that? Right there. Okay. I'm going to put one of these swifter things right down here on this side. And I'm going to put one of these swifter things right over yonder. You know, kind of let the edge, edge cap up there. I think, that's, I think that's a proper procedure, best I know. And I'm going to tighten that up and put that down in there. It's already caught one. I'm gonna adjust this one over here. That's good. Uh, okay, I have a, I have I have a treat for them. It's that pollen patty, and that's about a, that's about a one inch square right there. You know, but I'm gonna put it right up right there. Okay, I think I think now. Well, let's put it back together. Uh, well, I don't know about the feeder this time of year, but I'm gonna put it back in there. Uh, you know that ain't right, right there. That's too much gap down there. Or something ain't right. That's the way it is. All them bees is going at that pollen patty already lined up all the way around it. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this sugar syrup feeder back on there. Now look at the bottom of it down there. But y'all note, uh, take a note. Now I'm gonna fill that up there. Uh, uh, just in a bit, but okay, 
that's that's good enough there till I fill up that feeder. Okay, now with this hive right down here, the one we're going to try to uh, see, there's quite a lot of bees there. I've got the entrance blocked up. It's a solid board bottom, and okay. I tell you what I'm going to do. No, I'm not. Well, should I? Mm, see, there's a question I don't know. See, I have another. I have another one. I'll get it. So, so what I'm gonna do? Or I mean, what the option is, is I could put this down in there, and I got another one I could put down in there, and I would have five frames in there. Okay, now now the question is, or the the what I want uh, what I don't know. I should be on the telephone right now, but I ain't. But what I was going to do is I want to space this. I want I want to put this other comb. That's three. I'm going to put this other comb in there. Okay, and if I put that over there like that, that's four. Okay, that, that's about a room enough there. I'm not going to go it, but I could put the five empty frames in there. But... I think you can over over I think you can overwhelm these bees. I think there's honey, there's everything that they need to survive on them two frames right there. And I, and I think that there's the right amount of bees to take care of that. And then right here is a frame that it's ready for them to work on, to do whatever they want to with it. Okay, now I'm going to put another frame in there because that frame I just put in there is like, oh, it's like, let's say 60%, 70% drawn out. You know, it's, it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put this other, I'm going to put this one in on this side over here. Uh, and and just see, you know, somebody has to do it. That's a wax with them wires in there. Okay. Now, now. Now, now I'll tell you kind of the reason... Okay, I'll show you something. See, I have another. That was a high bill. But I have another frame that, that will fit right in there and be the, be the correct spacing. But I'm not going to put that frame in there right now. I'm going to leave that out. Uh, because I think it might overwhelm them. So I'm going to save that aside. And I am going to... Now, 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 tomorrow, supposedly, I'm going to drop a caged queen in here amongst these bees. So that's the reason I wanted to get them in there now. So they could kind of 
get used to the box. But but I do like these Swifter sheets enough to where I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two of them in there. Um, you, you know, if you catch a high beetle, it's worth doing. So so what I got is a couple of Swifter sheets of thing there, and some pollen patty on there for them to eat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this inner cover on here. Uh, let's get that done. It's, it's vented. Uh, small, small square screen wire there. And, and if you... Remember which side of the top board has the vent on it, you can put the top on it biased to that end and you, you'll have a vent there for some air to come through there. So, see I don't have a high top feeder for this. This right here. Okay. Now see it's, it's slid now forward. A, down a, 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 a wrap up I guess. Is right here we got them bees and frames honey brood drawn comb undrawn comb foundation small cell and some really a, a lot of bees now I could have took another frame and shook some of them bees down in there but but I think there's enough bees on that right there to take care of that queen and, and these bees right over here now they're maintaining the status quo. That, that's all I can say about it. Um, you know, they do everything bees does. They just, they, they don't bring much pollen or, or they don't bring much pollen in. But, you know, if you, I'm not going to take the top off, but just looking right there, there's, there's it, it's completely covered with, I should probably put a pollen patty on that. Let's see about that. We might all smoke that one on. Okay, let's uh, well, let's put a pollen patty on there and uh, another uh, Swifter sheet. Uh, this hive may survive. See, there's the Swifter sheet I had in there, and they've drug it halfway down through yonder, and and, and have captured. Get out of there, B. And have captured those hive beetles in that fabric so it does work Okay, this is what we got up in there. It's very dark, very dark. 
Look. Okay, we've got queen sails, three of them right in the middle of the of the hive right there. Oh, that's a good thing. Let's put them back in there. And we have enormous lot of bees right in there. We'll get that them queen cells back down in there. See, th this is the complete outside, outside frame on that. There's a lot of bees on it, but they're not drawing any comb. Okay, we have a lot of bees, full drone comb out, and they're capping. It's a it's a white color cap, and a lot of half full darker colors. Well, I see a high beetle in there. You know how how do you fight them high beetles? You know, so far, well. I think I've learned a bunch of stuff here in the last three or four days. I think I'm a smarter person. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, well, you know, I don't know what aggressive is, but it's, well, I do. I did three or four things here trying to ensure success and uh, and it's not like I'm it's not like I'm uh, uh, a bee farming it's like I'm fighting hive beetles so but but at this point I do think this right here is worth doing because I did catch some. Now, uh, this is the one that's going to get the queen in the morning. And I'll put her... No, this one. This one gets the queen. That's got the three queen cells that I did see just now. I'll write that in the book in there. Because uh, they're capped. Three capped... Hey, Mike. Man three capped queen cells and a lot of bees in there you know I don't even like to put this in there on account of them high bills man high bill this is good to go for a few days and what I'm, I'll have to, I'll have to study up on them, on them, uh, 
on them on them uh B uh on the queen bee. Well that's the bottom. See I even went to the trouble to put some of that double that's uh it's uh, sponge tape on there. It's don't supposed to stick on one side and it sticks to the other side. So You know, to, hoping it would seal up around there. You know, what more can you do? But now in this hive here, uh, take note. It's uh, It's got the queen cells in it. And uh, the vents to the back. So I'm going to be biased with the lid, I'll show you. To the rear. So, so they give it some ventilation. And I went to that smaller size screen wire. So if a... Uh, Hive beetle comes in that gap, it can't get down into the hive. And remembering, this is the one that's got the uh, this is the one that's got the uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a screen bottom board in this thing here and then it's got this tray here it's 3 h plywood all the way around kind of and it's filled up with that domesticated earth and and you you can see a lot of dead high beetles in here dead or dying they get in that stuff and they can't get out so and i think it does work uh i really do Anyway, it's caught some. So, and 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 that was left. I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and disturb everything here. Uh, so so tomorrow when I look at it again, I'll. Uh, if there's been any kind of sudden activity, I'll be able to tell it on the board right there. Put a little hand hook right there. But you know, don't, don't don't get that on the bees. They don't much like that. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like it is. I'm going to get this smoke out of there. You know. You know, to be, to be a young, to be a young beekeeper. Oh, that's that sugar syrup right there. Knowing nothing about bees, uh, I, I think I think we got a real hot podge going here. To recap, this is the hive that every time I have opened this hive, I have been able to find the queen. She's always on the move, hive beetle. You know, just that quick, there come one. So it's, it's not about raising bees, it's about fighting high beetles. You know, it's just how good you are at fighting high beetles, how much honey you got. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that's, that's, that's my first impression on these bees right here. If you can get past them high beetles, you know, they do everything else on their own. But, put that box on there, and, 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 and I tell you, they, they are working on it. So I'm going to need another box there really soon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that 10 frame box down to a medium and then to an 8 frame modified. So get that done and get a, another box ready for this one. I have one on standby. You know, I've got an empty one. But at some point I hope to... 
Now, see, I got th three queen cells down there. Now, <clears throat> see, you could have three, three more hives, but you, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't fight that many high beetles. Right there's one. He stops. Yeah, right there's a high beetle flying around. Yeah, there he is. And the bee, look at it. Whoa, that bee took that high beetle down. But he ain't gonna kill him, you know. I'll have to help it. Uh, move on now. We'll get that for you. Okay, so he got in there. And there was 30 bees right there. So. That's what I'm saying. You know, what do you do? What am I gonna do? But anyways. We, we got the we got all of this in here on a recap in the video we got it blocked off uh, I'm gonna put that queen caged queen in there and uh, see what happens you, you know what I mean it, I would have liked to have had these in here a couple of days or three but I think that queen might be here tomorrow and you know I'm not sure I should hold her over but anyways it it, it some point we'll decide to put that queen in there. And this one over here, I'm just gonna let it kind of go as it is. They're not, they're not, uh, there's a lot of bees in the hive uh, tending to them queen cells. So I think this hive does not have a queen at the present. I think the bees, and, and, and if you remember, there were two queen cells down on the bottom of that. So I'll, I'll have to check the calendar in there to see what, how old I think them is, about when will they hatch and, and kind of be on the observe for a mating flight. Man. Well, I, I tell you what, when these bees year, and, and there was abundance of bees in here that left, that was gone. When, when they left, I never saw it. So I don't know if they left it one at a time or if they left in mass, I don't know. You know, have no idea. I just know when I come down here in the evening time to check on them, that there was no bees there, none. So, but, you know, just out of curiosity. Okay, just looking down in there, of the bees on top of them frames, they're calm as can be. So, we'll see. But I, if, I, that, that Queen Nara, uh, evidently she's laying, but I'm almost, I'm almost to the point like maybe I'm, I'll have to make a couple of, I'll have to make a call and see about when I need to put the, like maybe right here in this situation, put a queen excluder on there and another box, uh, honey super, you know, at this point. But, you, you know, before I, before I go any further, I have to find a way to get rid of these high bills. Because you know if I can't if I can't beat the high bills then you know the bees are perish. But you know there's a good amount of bees right there at all times guarding that entrance right there. So I will be back in a couple days.